To change out your rear brake pads, you will first need to safely raise and support the vehicle and remove the rear wheels. If you need assistance with this, please follow the link at the end of this video for our article and video on safely raising and supporting your Mercedes. To remove the old pads, tap out the retaining pins, red arrow, with a screwdriver or a punch and a small hammer. They should slide out pretty easily as there's usually no load on them other than the retaining spring. If there is much difficulty encountered during the removal process, tap on the pads lightly to slightly remove pressure from the pins. Remove the retaining pins. If you are not replacing them with new ones, clean these pins up with a wire brush or wire wheel. Remove the retaining clip and if you're not replacing it, clean it up as well. It can be a source of squealing from all the brake dust, so get it as clean as you can. Use a large wrench or channel locks and gently squeeze the pads out towards the caliper. This will also make enough room to fit the new thicker pads. Squeezing the pads back will cause the brake fluid to move back through the system up towards the master cylinder. If your pads are really worn and the master cylinder is full, there may be a chance that you will need to remove some fluid from it. Clean around the filler cap and use a clean fluid pump or turkey baster and remove some of the fluid as needed. Red arrow. Pulling out the pads usually involves the use of a screwdriver for leverage. The pads are loose in the caliber, but it's still a pretty tight fit. There is usually a lot of dust and debris in the caliper. Wiggle the pads back and forth in order to pry them free. Before installing the new pads, make sure to clean the area inside of the caliper and check for any damage to the piston and the dust boot, red arrows. Install a little anti-squeal on the back of the new pads before inserting them into the caliper. Installation is the reverse of removal. When finished with both sides, press on the brake pedal repeatedly to make sure the pads and pistons seat properly. Also make sure that you top off the master cylinder brake fluid reservoir if necessary. Brake pads typically take between 100 and 200 miles to completely break in. It's typical for braking performance to suffer slightly as the pads begin their wear-in period. If your pads came with specific break-in instructions, follow those completely. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.